Have you tried this and have not had success? Can you see what I'm doing wrong here with trying to foam roll out my leg and piriformis and, and sciatica pain? This is often something that people will try and I'll explain to you why you run the risk of making it worse. Think of the nerve like this cord. So there's a couple things that nerves do not like. They don't like tension, they don't like compression, and they don't like uh, irritation like inflammation. So picture this being on the floor and now you're foam rolling, you're smashing it against the floor and the foam roller. That runs the risk of irritating an already sensitive nerve. So instead of foam rolling, let's get to the most likely cause of the pain. The disc is the most common structure that causes pain into the buttock and leg. So instead of trying to push pressure on that, on that already tender and irritated sciatic nerve, let's take some pressure off of it, move into a direction that's likely to move and change the offending disc tissue, and then we can try a different one after that. So try these two. The first one I would do is just come out of the stomach and then let's work into extension from lying to actually put some pressure, some needed pressure on that disc tissue to move it off of the nerve. You see when I'm going this way, I'm not putting any pressure on the nerve. In fact, I'm not even putting any tension on it. That's why when you're bending forward or kicking your leg out, walking, um, those things that can, that can irritate and tug on the nerve, stretching your hamstring, all those things would be things that would make it worse. So start here with extension and lying. Um, in and out, pressure on, make sure you keep the hips, go as high as you can. You may not get all the way there. It's okay to start just down here, okay? But just go as high as you can and then come back down out of it and it should come right back down again. Just monitor how it feels in the leg. The other one could be more of kind of a, a modified pigeon. So if it's my this leg here, instead of just coming down this way, like you likely have seen and just being lazy and just holding this, don't let that pressure be on the leg, or sorry, don't let that pressure be on the ground. So go ahead and bring it up and down this way pressure on, pressure off. Let me come from the side a little bit more here so you can see. So here, that's right. We don't want that pressure on there. We can get a little bit of a stretch, okay, and then come out of it. We don't want to hold it there because it's already irritated. So kind of come in and out, up and down. That way you'll, you'll use this muscle and you'll get a little bit of strengthening in that piriformis and, and lateral, like the, the hip abductors, as well as a bit of a nerve glide for that irritated nerve. So in and out, in and out that way. Use this along with the repeated extension and line to solve that sciatica problem instead of foam rolling.